So we embarked on another reading adventure for Read to Succeed this week. We literally hopped in Eric's car and we went did. down 62 towards Franklinville. <laughs> Grace Chapel Elementary was more than happy to have us and the kids could not wait to show us how much they love to read. Here are the highlights from our trip to Randolph County. I think we need to hear that one more time. Are you ready to have a party today? It gets the kids so excited about reading and just reinforces what we in education are trying to do with our kids. First I want to know, how many of you guys love to read? In this environment they see teachers, but outside of this environment they know that reading is the key to their success. Friday, our principal will have to kiss a wild pig. It's something I see every day here at Grace Chapel. They are so excited to come and learn and read. They were pumped. They're so pumped. And listen, we offer the three anchors at uh, Grace Chapel elementary jobs. Yeah, they they're were supposed really to be good. here at 3 a.m., but <laughs> they didn't show up. So I guess they didn't take us up on our offer. You know, that alarm clock is a rough yeah. thing. But yeah. By the way, if you're wondering about the headband, some of them had like a Statue of Liberty things, one of uh, Japan, the oh, flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Each each class was, was given a different country to study, so that's why they had that. I was wondering because at the end they started breaking out in USA, yes. USA. I was like, wow, this is the most patriotic school <laughs> I've ever been to. And that was the USA group. Then the Japan started Channing and Nor Norway, everybody. It was it was cool. I loved it. it uh, so next week we are back in Guilford County. We're going to Jesse Wharton Elementary for our first Read to Succeed in the month of April. We'll see you guys then.